In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this cool rotating wheel transition in DaVinci Resolve. The first step of this effect is to speed ramp your edit like I have. Take the clip you want to make the effect on and open it in color page. Take the oval masking tool and position it over the wheel. Go over to tracker window and press track both ways. Since the tracker messed up, I'll just do it manually by clicking on frame and adjusting the mask on each point. After that, right-click on the node section and choose Add Alpha Output. Connect the node to the output, hold Option and drag the clip up to copy it. Open it in Color Page and click here to invert the mask. Press D to disable the copied clip and then compound clip the rim layer. Open it in Fusion. Press Shift plus Spacebar and search for Transform. Keyframe both size and angle. Go back to editing page and move the rim layer on top of the last clip. Go to somewhere between the halfway and the end of the lowest clip and open the rim layer again in the Fusion page. Create new keyframes for size and angle. Move to the beginning of the clip and adjust the values like I do. Highlight the last keyframes and press S to smooth out the end. Press D to enable the clip and move it on top of the rim layer. Compound clip them together. Open it in Fusion and add a time stretcher. Go back to the editing page and go over to the point where the background clip ends. Go back into Fusion, adjust the time stretcher on that point so the wheel is fully zoomed in. Make a keyframe for the first frame and put source time to zero. Go towards the end and change source time to the maximum allowed. Open Spline Window. Delete the middle keyframe and speed ramp the clip. Make sure the wheel is fully zoomed in before the background clip ends. Once you've checked that, add transform. Make a keyframe for zoom on the point you want the wheel to be fully zoomed out. Go to the first frame and zoom into the wheel until nothing is visible. Make a graph similar to mine. Right-click on the transition layer and choose Open in Timeline. Open the rim layer in Fusion, open Settings and add Motion Blur. That's basically it. 